Hello, it's uh, Monday, July the 27th. We're almost through July already and we'll be into August. Hard to believe time flies. Trust that you're all uh, well and uh, let us know if there's anything at all that we can do for you. Uh, attendance uh, yesterday uh, was up from the previous weeks and uh, if uh, that trend continues. Uh, we will have a plan to accommodate uh, you if you desire to return uh, to in-person worship. And if you don't, uh, then we understand and uh, we will try to reach out uh, to you. But please let us know if there's anything uh, that we can do for you. Now we are looking at the Psalms together and we've reached Psalm 34. And Psalm 34 is just one of these extraordinary uh, joyful uh, psalms. It begins, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me. From all my fears, those who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. And, and so it goes on. There's an extraordinary background uh, to this psalm, and you find that background in 1 Samuel chapter 21, and it's the uh, incident where uh, David... Uh, fleeing uh, the megalomaniac Saul, King Saul, uh, does the unthinkable and he uh, goes into enemy territory, the Philistines. Uh, he goes with uh, Goliath's sword, uh, Philistine, that he had killed. Uh, and therefore, why in the world would David uh, walk right into the camp of the enemies? And the answer is he probably had no choice. And you remember David uh, feigned uh, madness and so on and uh, the Philistines said that they had enough mad people of their own and, and, and they let him go and it's an extraordinary um, deliverance and Psalm 34 uh, you, when you read the historical account in 1 Samuel 21 uh, you, you, you understand the Im immensely difficult circumstances that David was in but Psalm 34 is David's reflection on the real story uh, and it's a story about God's deliverance. It's a story about God's providence, uh, that God was taking care of his servant in very, very difficult circumstances. Well, that's a wonderful thought, isn't it? We find ourselves sometimes in strange circumstances, uh, circumstances that we would wish were different from what they are. Uh, and uh, whatever those circumstances are, God's children uh, may be assured of God's providence and deliverance. And when you experience one of those uh, deliverances of God, you turn it into a song of thanksgiving. And that's David in Psalm 34. And uh, uh, it reminds me of a story that I read in Ralph Davis's commentary on Psalm 34 of a, a young man uh, by the name of John Kennick and he's in the eight, early 18th century uh, in Scotland and he was a rebel as a teenager and then at 19 years of age he walks into a church on a Sunday morning uh, September the 6th in 1737 a time of awakening in Scotland and also here in uh, the early colonies uh, of uh, the United States and uh, the text or the psalm for the day uh, that they sang uh, in worship was Psalm 34 and John Kennick who was in great difficulties uh, heard uh, the Lord's call and responded uh, and he was delivered. Uh, psalm 34, may the Lord bless you today. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, and you want to make sure you get all of our content, not just videos, but podcasts and ministry updates, make sure you download our app. If you think you might have missed a video, 
click on our YouTube channel. A link should be down below. There you can see all of our videos. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything in the future, hit subscribe. If you want to be one of the first ones to know when we release a video, hit that little bell icon. And if this video has blessed you and you can think of someone else that it might help, use that share icon and send it to them. All, of course, for the edification of God's people and the glory of his name. Until next time, God bless.